In this short video, I'm going to show you how to calculate percentiles using Google Sheets. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to calculate the percentiles for the household income values for the 87 counties across Minnesota. That collection of cells have been highlighted here in yellow. The first thing I'm going to do is specify a named range for those cells. So let's select data, named ranges. I need to give my range a name. So let's do that. Minnesota household income. And then I need to specify the cells that contain the values for that named range. So I'm going to do that here by starting in cells D1 and then going to the last cell, which is down here in D88. Say done. And now that name range has been specified. I'm going to put my percentiles on a new sheet so it doesn't mess up the information that I have on this sheet. So I've specified that new sheet by just clicking the plus button and then giving that a name. So here's where I'm going to do the calculations for my percentiles. The first, the next thing is to specify a list of values for the percentiles that you'd like to obtain. So here I'm just going from zero, the 10th percentile, the 20th percentile, all the way through the 100th percentile or the maximum value in the data set. Okay, so to calculate the percentiles, I just use the equal percentile function. So equal percentile, and then I specify the named range. So that was Minnesota household income. And then I need a comma. And then I need to specify what percentile do I want to calculate. So I'm going to specify the zeroth percentile, which sits here in cell D3. So 42,439 is the zeroth percentile in the data which you may remember is the smallest value in the data set. So again, up here, it's equal percentile. The values that you'd like to compute the percentile of, which I've specified that as a named range, and then D3 because that's where the zeroth percentile. So D3 is for the zeroth percentile. I just put my cursor back in that cell, and I can drag that down. The lower right-hand corner, I can drag that down and it'll compute the remaining percentiles for me. Zoom back out a little bit so you can see that. So that's the list of percentiles. So the median here is the 50th percentile. So it looks like the median is $54,645. Okay, next, how do I create the cumulative density function plot, the CDF plot? Okay, so to do that, I'm going to simply highlight the various incomes and their associated percentiles. So highlight that set of cells underneath insert, chart, and then under the chart type, you're gonna to wanna to specify this one that has the dots or it's a scatter plot here. So it's the one that I have right here on the screen. And that is a kind of a crude CDF plot here. Let's just slide down a little bit so you can see it. You can make it look fancier if you'd want. Okay, so you can change the x-axis a little bit or clean up the y-axis if you want. Now in a CDF plot, we usually, sorry about that, we usually connect the dots, okay? But that's not real easy to do in Google Sheets. So we're not gonna worry about doing that here in this class. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you compute percentiles and create a CDF plot in Google Sheets. Thank you.